are you? I'm Oza Vine. My name is Pingin Nomela in Tombi, Yom Zulu. I'm from Beyond Africa Safaris. Nam Shanje Sikwa Langa. Because we want to come and experience the Langa lifestyle. Township Ekasi style. So Nam Shanje, we're gonna go on a tour and see what people in this location do for a living and how they empower themselves and how they empower each other so today we are all about that so join me let's go together this site was built it was in 1998 and it was officially opened in 2000 this center plays a major role in the community and also the surrounding of the community. We've got different projects, we've got different programs. What do you mean? We've got sand painting, we've got mosaic, we've got theater, we've got uh, drumming. There's a lot that is happening around here. Okay. And uh, most of the artists that are here, or most of the people whom are using this center, they are from this township, the 80%. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a young gentleman, his name is Sandile. He's the one who's doing the mosaic. Okay. Where we're gonna walk through, you know, he's upstairs. So what is the mosaic? The mosaic, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a new form. Oh, it's an old, ancient uh, 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 form of art. Where there are those ones who draw, okay. and then there are those ones uh, storytelling, and then there are those ones who do different forms of, of, of art. Okay. Wow, okay, I'm excited. Let's go. Okay. And as you can see, this old man, yeah. this old man busy with the sheepskin. No? He's busy with the sheepskin, soaking the sheepskin, mm -hmm. and the mother is busy grinding the maize. Oh, I see the maize. The young boy is hungry. The houses that you see there, the township where we are, which is called Langa. The cooling towers, it's an old power station where it was built, it was in 1952. Mm -hmm. Then it starts to work in 1957. Okay. The backdrop that you see here is still a mountain. Mm. The sun. Sunset no. or sunrise. The sun rise. Tell the story, Langa. Ilanga. And when you look on that side, you know, mm -hmm. you could see the young girl. She's from the bush, fishing the wood. You can see the fire with the The old lady, the pits and the duck telling the story. Mm. The animals that you see here, they represent our clan name. Because they're coming from different Molen, Molen. Thank you. What you gonna do now? Uh, let's start in one of the workshops. Uh, at this, uh, you could see the young ones. Okay. How do they use this facility? Mm -hmm. Because this facility plays a major role. No. Those ones who are finishing school. Yes. or those ones who have finished schools, you know? And it makes life very, very easy. If you look here, we've got this painting. These are the young guys whom they're busy with, the Women Project. Okay, because old? worldwide, we're facing the crisis of gender-based violence. Mm -hmm. Today, no one, no one speaks about women empowerment. As you can see, all these pictures, that with women empowerment. Mm. If you look on this one, the mouth is closed. Why? Because women should keep quiet. Because of one thing, he doesn't want to speak. Because he knows when he speak outside, what will happen inside in the house. Mm, she'll get into trouble. That's correct. Okay, this is where the magic room is. Now, as you can see, these young ones that busy with painting, with uh, empowering the youth and, uh, and empowering women. We've got two artists here, whom they sleep even here sometimes, mm. according to what they're doing. We've got Lando, 
on that side. And then we've got Msueli. And now, as you can see, he's busy with uh, the king, you know, from, 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 from Holland. Mm -hmm. Next week, they'll be here. Oh. And then they have to finish that painting because it's part of give back, because oh, wow. the Dutch have played a major role supporting and, and, and uplifting the standard of the township where we are. Mm. And how do we plow back? That picture plays the major role because they won't get the same picture like that one. Mm. It is only from this township. So what we normally do here, we also like teach children after school because we want to keep that to the community for women. Especially those ones, they just sit outside of the street, they do not do nothing. So they come here after school, after they finish to do like the schoolwork. So they come here, we try to share the skill to our community, we try to give back by all means. As you can see in the corner, there's a painting over there for the little ones when they come here, so they can just do anything that they want to do. What is the daily place what I'm doing? I'm working the theme about human empowerment. So all of these things happening all over the world about human abuse and children abuse. I feel as a young man, we need to stand up for men by all means because they're facing a lot of challenges on a daily basis. So this is what I try to, to share with a lot of people that they come here with my artwork. Okay, as you can see here, where we are, we are at the back of the centre. This is where the magic is happening. Mm -hmm. We've got the amphitheatre, where most of the youth are spending, spending the good quality time. And when it comes to the weekends or the school holiday, most of the youth, they do flock in here and come and learn different style of dance during the performing art. Wow. We've got, our amphitheater is about 200, 220 sets. Where last two weeks back, there was a performance that was, that was here and everything was booming. You know? When we talk about the Rocktober, Rocktober, it's happened inside here and then it happened also even outside here, mm -hmm. no, outside the centre. On this side, this is our dance room. You want to do hip-hop, funky dance, any dance, contemporary anything, you are welcome. So which days of the week do you do that dance? Uh, mostly it's an after-school programme, during, also during the weekends, okay. Saturday and Sunday, yes. Oh. After school, it's around about four until six. And then on the weekends, starting from 10, 12, and then from three up to five. So how does it work? Who, part who participates? Uh, the kids from the township and also the surrounding of Langa. Okay. Everybody's welcome because this center, it is not a, it is not closed center. It's an open where you learn different skills. As you can see, even, even inside, we've got guys that, that they're coming from Devon, mm -hmm, whom they're yes. flocking in here. We've got guys from Kuglitu, we've got guys from Yanga, we've got guys from all over. They come and learn different skills here. Okay. And then it makes life very, very easy for us because we share everything and then we ended up living as, we ended up living as one big family because uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, there's, there's a something in English, I don't know whether it's, it's what, when they say that a bed, you know, flock together. Okay, what happened now? We're entering an art room. In this art room, we used to have three projects here. Unfortunately, the other project has to move. We used to have music here, but today we've got two projects that are inside here. We've got painting, and also to have mosaic. Sandile is here, he's the one who does the mosaic. Sandile is the one that have played around about the mosaic in front. When you, when you enter in the center, there's a lot of mosaic. It was Sandile, he, it was Sandile's first biggest project, an outside project. A um, mosaic is a kind of art which I'm using the, like a, Eight different colors of the glass tile. Sometimes it can be like a ceramic, okay? And that, on that kind of art, we actually have like two of the machines that are using to create any other picture we can think of. Firstly, we have this cutter here, we call it the Sigma. That is more familiar, like when you're doing the cuttings. Mm -hmm. Yes, 
we have this cutter, like on this one, like T, for example, the piece which I'm currently busy with. I'm busy with this one. Mm. On this one, I cut the little squares that I'm making the border around here. And then also we have this kind of, this kind of cutter also, this is the second one. On this one, we're making like this shape, like this, you can see the little white the circles. Yes, the beads, absolutely. Wow. Yes, we use this cutter. Yeah. Yo, this is beautiful artwork. Thank you. It takes a lot of skills. It is indeed, and then it needs a lot of time, yeah. And a lot of concentration. Absolutely, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, on this side, we've got the theater, where it has been made by the students, you know. German students, whom those ones were doing architecture and engineering, in partnership with the community in the city of Cape Town. Everything here has been made from shipping containers, as you can see underneath here. Only one thing, one of the best insulation that I ever saw in my life, where it's mud, hessian and the other chemicals, were to make this theater cooler in summer, warmer in winter. They've played a major role. And it's got one of the best acoustics. One of the best top musicians, mm. Tebe was here. The, the, he, he have performed one of the best performances wow. on this theater. Unfortunately now, there was a technical fault. There was fire here. And then now the engineers and uh, the workers of, of the city of Cape Town, they're busy fixing up each and everything. We're not allowed to be inside, but at least maybe next month, everything will be open for us. We could enter in because we're still waiting for the certificate. So what triggered the fire? I don't know. Some say, some say it is their own fault mm. because you'll find the other ones, they bridge. Maybe it was like that, or maybe there was another thing. We don't know. But it's looking good. Yeah. It's coming along all right now. Yeah. And I love the colors. It's so colorful and beautiful. That's, that's home, man. Yeah. Let's, let's walk to the pottery, okay. where this, you know, you could see what's happening around here. Because mm -hmm. these projects, they play the major role. Because we've got pottery, and then we've got our workshop programs okay okay this is another project okay. it's called naledi pottery project as you can see here there's nothing that has been made outside everything has been made in the center mm. project like these ones are the project that have played the major role the good items that we see in town they've been made here mm. you know and uh there's one uh there's a guy his name is musiso so is going to explain about what's happening around here. Okay. And uh, please, he knows better than me. I am a artist who is 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 Tengalui powder, so the local up a keep down, but a silly, so dig out no way to slam. Sil pass, sil tengatina go shop, sell processed already in mind, particular up a cup, and then sil mix a pia and a man's, and then after sil mix in a man's pia with seven so as pieces with citizen molds, this is an azo as shape, nus bonaya up all around. As puma pias, puma as a rough, funda way to lower and the as a sponge and a blade, it's a long rough edges. Jeng by says alone, no lay of fire. And when we say rough edges, it's dry pine, the langin. And when by the dry, she's chisel up and as his machines, the killings, as his chisel was. And then Cassis seal is bump shop and jeng is his pire. It was born a salt and pepper and a max fire. And then Scarlet's was painted and was jumping on the six messes along the last sources. Painted and a Sandra, as long as hand painted and nature, animals, cultural background. Background say to inspirations up to a corner a design. Okay, now we're entering another project. Uh, this project is called our workshop. The, here we've got different programs. We've got different artists. We've got Luvuyo. Luvuyo knows better than me. <clears throat> Luvuyo is going to explain about what's happening around here. 
-hmm. It was the different artist whom that to whom that doing different work. Okay. Uh, there's a lot that's happening. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to speak on behalf of him. Okay. Uh, over to you, sir. Uh, for sure. So I'm one of the plus minus 10 members of our workshop. Uh, we occupied the room from 2016 until currently from not having a space material, neither tool. So what we did, we went to individuals like you, went to companies and we said, listen, whatever that you throw away as off cuts from whatever type of material or whatever that you regard is waste, just give it to us. We're going to figure out a way to make our own living from those off cuts of material. And then people start, started donating material and tools. And then we started manufacturing. As an executive collective, we also made a decision to allow other people that also need material or tools, they can come to this room, whether you reside in Langa or not, look at the material that we have. If you like it, you can take it for free. The only thing that you require from you, it's your name, surname, and cell phone number, so that we're making a record of people that we are assisting along the way, so that should we get sponsors and they want to look at our books, at least the information is there. And then they can also come and use the tools that we have, like a sewing machine or whatever type of tools that we have for free and do their own thing. And then they can take it and to wherever. It's none of our business. Really? Yeah. I love sewing. Yeah, well, you don't need to become a member of the workshop, but you can come and use the space on your on your day to day. So guys, hi, my name is Tande Swa. I work with the person that makes these lovely pieces. His name is Otto and he specializes in sand painting. So what he does, he goes to our beaches in Cape Town, like Hout Bay or Kok Bay. He would collect the normal sea sand that you see, and then he will come to color it with acrylic paint. That's how you get the different colors that you see around on how he actually does that to get the final details that you see. I will take this one for an example. So Odon will first sketch a subject, after that he will place a layer of glue on top. Now depending on the size of the subject, for the bigger ones like this and that, he would use a tea strainer, just like this. And then for the smaller ones like these ones over here, he would use his fingers just like this. You can as well touch it to feel the texture. It is actually fixed with glue so that the sand doesn't fall off. And then for the final detail you see, he would use a fine tip brush and a paint. And then his art is very unique also because it's not only fully covered with sand. Some have an exposed part like this, whereby this part is similar to the cupboard over there because it paints on milamine or MTF. Some of them, they have a linen background like this. And then most of the times he presents our South African wildlife that when tourists come, they see in the safaris, they present our township that you visited right now, I'm pretty sure. If you know township, you come across a lot of iho, okay, a shack. And then most of the times, it also presents our culture, whereby boys transform into a man. They get circumcised and be made out to be a man by other older men. So this is them now officially men. And then on the other side, we have whereby it's men and our lovely ladies welcoming their kids back home after a long time of not seeing them. So that's pretty much what we have here. And Oton, he is originally from Angola, and then he came to South Africa around early 2000, and Langa was the first place he stayed in. So his art is only found here in this place because you want to promote this space around here. So if you go around in Cape Town looking for this art, you will not find it, you will come back here. So yeah, that's him, and his details are on top of it. So you don't sell it anywhere else? No, here. it's only this place, yeah. Yes, beautiful. And he's also a full-time artist. He learned this technique from his uncle when he was a younger boy. So he grew up with his uncle learning how to do it and then he took it serious. He's doing this for a living, by the way. Yeah. As we walk, Table Mountain stands tall an ever-present guardian overlooking Kualanga. Its majesty mirrors the strength and resilience of the people who call this place a home. As we are still strolling along, I see this beautiful colorful building with vibrant colors. As I have an inquisitive nature, so I ask, what is that beautiful building? So, it's an old beer hall a cornerstone of community gatherings as witnessed the anchors of laughter, the rhythm of music, and shared moments that binds the residents together. The hostels, 
once barracks, now house the beating heart of Ulanga. The spirit of unity is palpable in these streets where stories are shared and friendships blossom. Mkomboti utenga umili mili, impala, uitibansa ne king corn, upeka amanze abile, uchoke ngoku zitibani sezo itu, kalele amanze ashushu, ukome. After three days, uya upeka ke ngoku umkomboti. Upeka as istutu. Ya ibon istutu? Ewa. Upeka upolise. Oke wako kupolisa, ube uzenze le enyi nitu wana nini niforu uu 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 is umlumiso. Okay guys, we are still enjoying our Ulanga Township Tour experience. And I was hoping by Nizal Sela Umkomboti, but it's fine. Umkomboti is sold out for today. But we were so lucky to get the experience of how the Umkomboti is made. And we actually saw the process, the fermentation process whereby they mix the yeast. And Iking Kong Umtombomela. But it's fine, at least. Even um combo to sing out Salanga, Masi and Bessioja in Choco, guys. Enjoy with me, your girl. So, as we continued with our stroll through Kualanga Township, we saw fire. And I was wondering what are they making because I was really starving. And I was already told that Kualanga, they make the best in Choco, which is the sheep's head. So we had to stop by and enjoy the sheep's head and I really enjoyed the meat. And while I was eating, other men came by and they said, can we join you? I said, absolutely. So the meat is always enjoyable when you eat with other people. So that was it. We had a blast. So me, with my inquisitive nature, I needed to find out like, how do they buy in Tloko and how does it look like when it comes from the shop and what is the cleaning process and how healthy is it? So the mama who sells in Tloko is going to tell us how she makes it. Oh, it's my lady in Tloko Yekush. Sivuga Koksasa. Sia Gui Puchesuk Fuchani. Sio Tengas Tloko. Sis Tengas Inch. Sino Boy. Sino Boy. Then Tina. Kasas Cleaner. Sichisu Boya Apem Liluin. But gas is chisa emliluin. Sis chisa umboya beb ng ganch. Go back out chisa park of nega wenzelba, umma chisinya. And then sis seven is ants in be as ya. Weber, as ants in be, uchisa carcass onke is. He's a variety be smooth. Weber. And then guys sugela apple, bega manza shush. The solia pass and a lit. A pot scraper. Yeah, we scrapping a pot scraper. And then go to Bileo. Tata is empty. See better ganch. You go and say, but it's all vulgar. We want. Because if vulgar, you're going to see Tata. We want to top up the pan of pagati. See a black. Okay. We want our yukwazu pegan on top. So if we're going to top up, see black. See pin the see clam the wakon. Okay. See faga pin bizin. See pega. See pega. We go and vote. We have the hour of vote. Guys. Yo, kum nandi ekasi. Yazin, si figile, sabona, senza, sa joina ganyi nabanya bantu, kwa bam nandi, yazin ekasi uzizo use kaya. Everyone you meet in ekasi, you feel like they've known you forever. So we arrived this morning, sa figile kukas tebe, and we walked around the place, and then we got to be introduced to all the artists that are doing all the artwork in the center. And and then from there, funa umkomboti the African beer. Unfortunately, bes maniwe umkomboti sa figa was sold out, but it's fine. Na corner, even if it was sold out, we got to see how they make umkomboti. And then from there, sa hambasayo funa smiley, ikandelen trogo, and you saw me enjoying in trogo. And 
then from there guys slap slap because it's like fun let's go to get and go back home because it has been a long day god i'm not gonna say a lot about the ikasi experience because you need to book your own experience so right here on the website below beyond africa safaris private tours cape town Dot com you need to come to Ekasi to get your own experience because yours is not gonna be like mine so you are still with me open in Dombela of course in Tombi Yomzulu from beyond Africa safaris and guess lalilan how in load shedding guys let's go